So you're already probably, <laughs> most of you are probably bored, shall we say, of hearing me bang on about the fact that, look, we need to decarbonize the British steel industry. So what does that mean? Well, essentially, it means the steel industry switching to more renewable energy. Those of you who know anything about the steel industry knows that the steel industry uses huge, huge amounts of electricity. And in order to essentially keep it going, we are seeing a steel industry in, in the UK at the moment, which actively mainly only works mainly three days a week because the rest of the time they cannot afford the costs of the electricity. Now, if you look at other countries, they heavily subsidized their steel industry for electricity, uh, maybe the transport costs or, you know, something else um, within, the, within those, you know, different tariffs or like we see in the US. But here, the British steel industry is basically suffering because nothing has essentially been done. But this is the first big thing that could massively help a very crucial industry to the UK and secure hundreds of thousands of not only jobs now, but for jobs in the future. So, so we're going to get into this plan because I love this. I love this. This is a fantastic plan. And most of you know, I have talked about this very briefly before, but the fact that they are pre prepared and to actually seriously think about this. This is what leveling up actually looks like. This is what it looks like. Not only is this leveling up, this is guaranteeing jobs for the future, but it's also building a green new economy, which is, again, just as important when we're looking to take steps towards the future. So before we go jumping into this, uh, please remember to hit that like, share and subscribe button. And also down below, there are links to my Patreon page, as well as one off donation link to, uh, well, buy me coffee or you can, well, buy me coffee. As always, thank you very much to all those people who do support the channel that way. So let's jump into this then. This comes to us today from the Metro, with the title of Labour Unveil, a $3 billion, $3 billion, $3 billion pound plan to transform the British steel industry. So the shadow business secretary said the future Labour government would revive British manufacturing by supporting it to decarbonise. He pointed to very similar plans unveiled in the US, currently uh, proposed by Joe Biden, which are designed to future-proof heavy industries while meeting climate targets. The former Labour leader made his comments at his party's Brighton conference, where he, was uh, where he and the other shadow ministers were setting out a policy programme to take on Boris Johnson. Mr. Billerman, Mr. Miliband, Mr. Miliband said the party would deliver on a Green New Deal, but moved to assure that unions, that the transition to a cleaner economy would not mean the decline of manufacturing jobs. He said, about workers in oil and gas, let me say this to those people, including in this hall. I get your worries. I grew up in the 1980s. I'm an MP in Doncaster, a forming mining constituency. We remember what the Tories did. I know our responsibility. This climate transition must leave no worker, no family, no community behind. Which, again, so glad I actually he said this, because, again... You look at all the towns that are currently having so much trouble here in the UK, they're all pretty much ex-mining, ex-industrial towns. And these towns have been, well, they were left by Margaret Thatcher, given somewhat attention under, under the Labour government. And then as soon as the Tories got in their coalition government, in came austerity, which again, cut the legs right underneath some of these towns just as they were literally starting to get back on their feet. He also took aim at Boris Johnson's remarks in uh, in August that, of course, Margaret Thatcher closing the mines aided in lowering carbon, commission, carbon emissions, saying, let's lay to rest the idea that these Tories can somehow manage or just a fair green transition. A couple of months back, Boris Johnson was challenged on the Tory credentials on climate change. He jokingly said that Margaret Thatcher had closed the pits and given us a head start. This guy laughing was laughing about people losing their jobs, communities losing their lifeblood, generations losing hope. How dare he? 
Mr Miliband also said the gas price crisis, which will see household bills rise across the country, is a disaster made in Downing Street. Keir Starmer has currently ruled out nationalising the UK's largest energy firms in a major departure from the leadership uh, under Jeremy Corbyn. But the current party leader did not uh, exclude the possibility of another form of common ownership of the big six companies if he became prime minister, as this currently crisis is spiraling, uh, spiraling bill looms. So overall, I am very, very happy with that. That, that, ladies and gentlemen, is a good policy announcement. You've heard me say this before. This hits all the key areas. Not only is this guaranteeing jobs for the future, it is building jobs for the future as well and decarbonizing an industry, not only just the steel industry, but other heavy industries here in the UK as well. We need to move towards this and this is the right direction for Labour really to go. So I'm really glad that he said that. Um, I'm really glad, of course, as well, that he also mentioned about not leaving behind um, any towns or or industries or people that might get left behind from this this greening of the of the jobs, shall we say? Um, I'm really glad he brought that up because again, that is just as important. Um, and of course, when you do green these industries, you can sort of take people from those jobs that have lost out and bring them in to these new industries. So hopefully there is an actual plan for that because, of course, when Margaret Thatcher closed the mines, there was no plan. It was just, sorry, close down now. You're on your own from here. So I'm really glad that, to be honest, he uh, brought that up. And I thought, I think in terms of this and the rest of their green plan, that's a very good um manifesto pledge we'll have to see obviously how this comes to pass it as as the years go on shall we say and especially where this comes up in the general election but this is an absolutely fantastic way to really take it to boris johnson by saying look boris johnson promised to 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 level you up he did nothing he did absolutely nothing to help you level up we have an actual plan and this is far superior to anything currently that Boris Johnson has proposed, which, by the way, is still nothing. So good on you uh, for Labour for doing this. Um, and again, it certainly shows that the Conservatives promise that Labour does. So thank you very much uh, for you all uh, joining us today. Uh, please do remember to hit that like, share and subscribe button. And of course, down below, there are links to my Patreon page. And of course, the one-off station link called Buy Me Coffee, where you can, well, buy me coffee. And as always, thank you very much for watching and we'll see you all next time.